Your turn, come on. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Going through my childhood trauma, man. It's like, ooh. I saw CD's triangle, come on. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Back to School, where Singaporeans in teams of two go head to head in the battle of knowledge, where they can win cash prizes up to $388. Just a fun way to encourage the spirit of learning and education. And today's subject is... Mathematics! Oh, oh no. my goodness! That's my second word! My That's math is not math though. Okay, let's meet the teams. First off, we have Team Kaya Kakis. Ooh. What's up guys, I'm Trev. I'm Abby. He's my brother. She's my sister. That's right. Hashtag siblings. <laughs> yes, we are obviously a couple. Yeah. And we are... Team Kaya Kakis! And the reason why we name ourselves Team Kaya Kakis is because like, every morning we'll have our favourite Singaporean breakfast which is the Kaya Toast with soft boiled eggs. That's right. Why we're going to win today is because Trent was top in school. She's very smart. We are ready! <laughs> and next, we have Team Roja. Hello! Hi, I'm Socha. Hi, I'm Eddie. And we are a married couple and we are called Team, Team Roja. Roja. The dish Roja is a bunch of ingredients melted into one pot and I think it best represents our relationship and also it's very Singaporean. I probably have more nonsense knowledge stored in my brain. We'll see how it you goes. See, see. <laughs> so today, our contestants will answer questions across four different game modes, accumulating points as cash prizes. And in the end, only the winning team will walk away with the cash they have earned. While the losing team will leave empty-handed. Contestants, are you ready? Yes! yes. Let's, go. Let's bring it on. Let's go back to school. Let's start with our first round called Choose It or Lose It, where teams will answer MCQ questions worth $20 each. You'll need to write your answers on the whiteboard provided with just 20 seconds for each question. Are you ready? Can I say no? <laughs> <laughs> Please no algebra. I'm with her. Try your best, uh, try your best. Uh. Yeah, in secondary school they always say is just choose C, right? Let's try that. Uh. We'll try that. We'll try that. Okay, ready, uh? And here is your first question. Which fraction is the largest? Is it A? 5 over 8, B, 3 over 4, C, 2 over 3, or D, 1 Four. over 2. Okay, so which fraction? Okay, you got 5. Heaven and Hill. Okay, so. Let me see. <laughs> 3, 2, 1. Alright. Show your answers. You can show it to this camera, you show it to that camera. My brain is not breathing. I'm just gonna listen to him. <laughs> Alright, so the correct answer is B. Yes! <laughs> School? Yes. Oh, okay, nice. great. Yay. Yes, easy. Yeah. So converting the fractions into decimals, 3 over 4 is 0 0.75, 5 over 8 is 0 0.625, 2 over 3 is 0 0.66, and 1 over 2 is 0 0.5. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was reading like the percentage. Yeah. Wow, like how many percent? Next yeah. level, huh? Alright, next question. What is the formula oh for Pythagoras this... theorem? Is it A? A squared plus B squared equals C squared? B, half times base times height? C. A square minus B square equals C square or D A square times B square equals C square. I have no idea what this is. What Pythagoras? Four, three, two, one. <laughs> All right. Review your answers. I have no idea um, what this is. Okay. Well, so you answer A and you answer C. And the answer is A. <laughs> See, at first you like. Pythagoras theorem. Oh my goodness. I think overconfident wow, That's not okay. you say like. Easy, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm it's wowing hard, because I, I seriously like undermine my husband. What is a Pythagoras theorem? The triangle yeah, What is a Pythagoras theorem? He wanted to say B. I'm like, <laughs> that is calculating the damn triangle. Oh so. wow, she knows. She knows her stuff. So in a right angled triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares to the other two sides. Oh. It's this tricky triangle that we all forgot from sure. school. Next question. What does botmus stand for? Botmus? I think I remember this. I forgot. I know it's the add minus plus. Five, four, three, two, one. Review your answers. Okay, so the correct answer is 
B. B? B. Oh no, why did I oh, change no. my answer? I'm so B. sorry. Oh, you almost no, got it's A. okay. B. So, Bodmer stands for bracket, order, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction, which is an acronym to help people remember the order of mathematical operations. Never mind, I still got two more questions, okay? Okay. All right, all right. Okay, next question. Which of these is a prime number? Is it A, 15, B, 10, C, 86, or D, 37? I don't get anything. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Write your answers. Hey, you always like forget the right answer. Huh? Okay, please I'm show your answer. I'm just going to go with my gut feeling. Okay. C. C, what do you answer? A. So, the correct answer is... D! Oh. oh man! No one got that right? So, a prime number is a whole number greater than 1 that cannot be exactly divided by any whole number yeah, other see, than itself. How did one. I come up with 15 then? Next question. What is the name of this formula? Is it A. Binomial theorem formula? B. Area of triangle formula? C. Quadratic formula? Or D. Law of cosines formula? This is not in the O levels. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm sure it is. Right? Front, the front page was already put. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, five, four, three. You have the right answer. Two, one. Come on, Abby. Let me see. Okay, please show your answers. I'm cringing because the only thing I recognize in the MCQ option is this, this answer. And the correct answer is... Please not be A. C! Oh, yes! Yeah. Okay, so the quadratic formula is a straightforward formula used to find the solutions to a quadratic equation. So, why do you think it was law of cosine? This is the only thing that I recognize. Right, I actually recognize cosine as well. Yeah, right. the word cosine, they're yeah. like, okay, this sounds familiar. It's so funny that all our memories from school days are like figments, you know. So, they're all coming back. Coming back, Jesus. sorry, sorry. <laughs> huh? <laughs> okay, so we have come to the end of Choose It or Lose It. So, right now, Team Kaya Kakis has $40. While Team Rojak has also $40. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a draw at this point. Yeah. Okay, so how are you all feeling now? Demoralized, but I uh, feel like it's a warm up round, so we'll do better the next round. How about you? Kind of brings yeah. us back to school. Yeah. All right, on to the next round. We are now at the speed buzzer round. Each team has sent a member to face off, where after a question is read, the first person who presses the buzzer gets to answer. You will then have three seconds to respond, but if you get it wrong or run out of time, the other contestant gets a chance to answer. So the team with the most correct answers will win $50. Oof. Team Kaya Kakis, are you ready? Yeah, of course. Team Roja, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Question number one. How many sites are there in the Pentagon? You must keep your hand there. Seven. Wrong. Oh my! Eight. Wrong. Nine. Wrong. Six. Wrong. Five. Correct! Oh yes! <laughs> Next question. The circle line is about 35.5 km long. What is the formula used to find the area of circle? Pi R squared, is it? Correct! <laughs> So just to make it clear, the circle line isn't exactly a circle. I just yeah. threw you off a bit. Yeah. Next question. What is the square root of 64? 8. Correct! Alright, alright. Okay, so a square root of a number is a value that when multiplied by itself, gives the original number. Next question. Define an isosceles triangle. How do you spell isosceles? Is that not spelling B, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I saw this triangle. Hey, Don't need to know. describe, is it? <laughs> no, no. Uh, define. Define. Oh, define. Like, uh, I define. saw this triangle. Come on, man. All sides are equal. Wrong. Three, two, one. Your turn. All sides are different. Wrong. <laughs> Why you look at me? Three, <laughs> two, one. Oh, oh, oh. Can, can I? Okay. Uh, ninety degrees. Wrong. Oh. Your turn. Three. Yeah, my mind is blank, man. Two. <laughs> One. Your turn, come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Going through my childhood trauma, man. It's like, oh. I saw silly triangle. Come on. Three. Two. One. Your turn. The length are equal. What? How many lengths are equal? Uh, three. Wrong. Your turn. Two sides are equal. Correct! 
Yeah, yes. <laughs> Yo, this is so embarrassing, man. And so an isosceles triangle is a triangle with two sides of equal length. All right, now we go to the final question of the speed buzzer round. The population of Singapore is estimated to be about 6 million people. How many digits are there in a million? Seven. Correct! All right. right, that was pretty speedy, yeah? Yes. <laughs> they call me the Flash. It'll take 30 minutes to answer one question. Right? <laughs> <laughs> flash. <laughs> okay, so we come to the end of the speed buzzer round. And the winner of the speed buzzer round is... Team Kayakaki! Yeah, good game, good game, good game, good game. Okay, okay. which okay. means Team Kayakaki has now $90, while Team Rojak has $40. How do you all feel? I think the next one will be better. Surprised that I can even like answer the question so quickly. So, um, thankful, thankful. Hey, thankful. We like bro, you only win one question. <laughs> <laughs> he, he talk as if like he trash or that. We like bro. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So let's proceed to the next round where you will either catch up or extend your lead. We are now entering a very crucial round called. You snooze, you lose. Which is a sudden death round worth eighty-eight dollars. Wow. Okay. So okay. since you both did not participate in the previous round, you have a chance now to help your team either catch up in points or extend your lead. <clears throat> so how this round is gonna work is you both shall take turns giving an answer to the topic until one of you cannot come up with anything else. The team who snoozes, loses. And the winning team will earn $88. And the topic is... The Sevens. Hmm? So both teams will take turns to call out multiples of seven in ascending order. And will continuously do it until one of you gets stuck. What about multiple multiplication time table? Correct, time table. Time table. Wow. And since Team Rojak has lost the previous round, you will begin first with the number seven. Are you ready? Mm, yes. Yes. I feel like the teacher asked me, are you ready for it? Yes. 3, 2, 1, begin. 7, 14, 21, 28, 32. Wait! No! <laughs> oh! You snooze! <laughs> oh man. So it's actually 35. Sorry. So congratulations to Team Kaya Kakis. You are the winner of this round. Thus, Team Kayakakis now has $178, while Team Roja has $40. Oh. <laughs> Should I send you for that round? So, how do you all feel? I feel like it's okay, we go makan later. Right. My math teacher watching this will be very disappointed in me. Okay, don't worry. Because <laughs> you got one more round exactly to win more cash, okay? Let's go! We are now in the final round. Right now, Team Kakis is leading with $178 and Team Rojak currently has $40. But don't worry, you still have a chance, okay? Because in the final round, you will be given a question where you have one minute to write your answers on the iPad provided. And whoever gets the correct answer will add $150 to the total score, okay? Wow. So you still can catch up. So teams, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes! And this is your question. 36 Singapore students visited the Botanic Gardens and had lunch. They were divided into two groups, X and Y. Each student in group X had two Kaya Butter Toast and each student in group Y had three Kaya Butter Toast. If the total number of Kaya Butter Toast consumed by all students was 88, how many students were in group X and group Y respectively? A little hint, you can use the substitution method, okay? And your time starts now! So your team is Team Kaya, right? Nah, this one is... Better get this correct, man. Sheesh! Abby, you're not helping. You're just Can you see the question? Oh, yes, sorry. Right. This is where I stone in class. <laughs> it's for teamwork, man. You're just looking at the whiteboard like blank. <laughs> okay, come on. You gotta work faster, guys. Good, eh? Good. Is this correct? Yeah, how many students? No, is this math correct? Yes. Why are you writing, darling? <laughs> Yeah, Danny, what are you writing? Wait, wait, I'm just trying to think. Okay, 30 more seconds. Come on, both teams are very uh, okay. doing Google very, Google very, very quick maths. Don't know what kind of thing they are scribbling on their board. No, I'm just like divide by three. I forgot to do how to my math sum already. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One. And your time is up, guys. I forgot how to answer this kind of questions. I hope my tuition teacher not watching. Go, Team Kaya Kakis, answer your question. Okay, I'll answer. Group Y, we have 16 students. Group X, we have 20 students. How do you all come up with that? Because 88 toes in total, right? So I'm just trying to split between 88 to 36. I was trying to find a figure that we can actually come up with 88 toes. So I was just doing some mental sum. Like 3 times 16 is 48, then 2 times 20 is 40. So add together, you have 88 toes. Group of Y had 3 toes, right? Meaning we have 62 students, so total you have 48 toes. X, we have 2 kaya toes, right? So we have 20 students, so 20 students times 2 kaya toes, so 40 kaya toes. So you add together, you will still get 88 kaya toes. So that's how I actually derived. Oh, so you meant us now. You meant us now. I meant us now. So basically, trial and error. Yes, that was my method. How about you? 36 split into X and Y. And then group X had um, 2 kaya toes each. So 88 divided by 2, I came out with 44. Yeah, out of 36, the X group uh, each had two kaya toes, which uh, totals 44. So group X consumed 44. And then if you minus 88, 44, the other group also had 44, which is equal. So I'm just thinking that 36 divided by 2, then X and Y is equal to 18 each. La. So let's see the correct answer. So using the substitution method, let X be the number of students in group X and let Y be the number of students in group Y. Which means we have two equations based on the given information x plus y equals 36 where you can actually also come up with another solution 2x plus 3y equals 88 so after that you can find y by you know doing some like algebra we equation bring it across both of us so y equals 36 minus x so if you substitute y in the second equation you'll get x equals 20 and then if you substitute x equals 20 into the first equation to find y you will get y equals 16 which means Try and error! Oh. Which means Team Kaki, you got the correct answer. Oh. Yeah. yeah! Even though it's not really a right method, but you got there in the end. Unfortunately, Team Roja, you did not get the correct answer. So this means the winning team with the highest score is Team Kaya Kaki! Yeah. Woo. With a total score of three hundred and twenty-eight dollars. Wow! Wow! Blanja! Blanja! Yes! Yes! We're gonna go eat. Congratulations to Team Kaya Kakis, as you are the winner of today's episode of Back to School. Therefore, you have won yourself a total of three hundred and twenty-eight dollars. No. Oh, 100 Thank you 200 Keep it hey. coming 300 Okay 20 <laughs> $8. Thank so, you. How do you feel? Today is a really good like refresher course of like what we used to learn and everything. Personally, I think like learning never stops. Uh, even right now, like today, we are still learning new things. Yes, so shout out to our secondary school teachers, teachers. and our tutors. Because uh, a lot of things today, it, it did come back. And as for Team Roja, unfortunately, you're going home empty-handed, but with more knowledge. Right. Yeah, that's true. So I guess yeah. you are all winners. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you feel? Out of touch with this mathematics subject. Actually, we have a two-year-old at home. So I think uh, as he's growing, majority of it will probably be me sitting out with him to relearn the math. But this is kind of like a reality touch. I mean, like you have to uh, somehow remember of what you have taught early on the days. And yeah. you might not know when it's going to get that back to you. All right, that's awesome. So we hope you guys have fun learning mathematics with us here today. And we'll see you on the next episode when we go... Back, back to, to school! school. Alright! Drop